What's up, YouTube? What's you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review, this time of episode 64. Satoshi to Nagetsuki Seru! Yujo! Last week, we had a really good episode where Ash and his friends went to the Battle Dome where they met the Mask Royale and his Incineroar and took them on in a Battle Royale. Afterwards, Ash's Litten, after le learning Flame Charge, evolved into a Tauracat. The last episode was really good and this one was right there with it. This episode titled Ash and Pissimian, A Touchdown of Friendship was another really good episode. Last week, I predicted that maybe Ash would catch a new Pokemon this episode. Spoilers, he did not. But if you did check out this episode, make sure you let me know what your favorite was, favorite part was in the comments down below. Now the episode starts off, we see a group of Passimian that had just defeated a group of Machamp that were led by Officer Jenny. And Jenny doesn't know why this group is there. She calls them the Red Buns and says, why would they be on Melee Melee Island? It flashes over to where Ash and his Pokemon are walking through the city doing their chores and Ash walks up to the old lady that used to give Litten food and she recognizes he is now a Tauracat and brings them his favorite berries so all of Ash's Pokemon are snacking. While Pikachu is eating, Pikachu notices that these Passimian are coming up and they're different Passimian than the ones we saw before. In the beginning of the episode we saw these Passimian that had a bunch of red on them. They had red accents. These Passimian that are coming up now have a lot of green on them. And they're playing football. They have their little fruit and they toss it forward. They were looking behind them and they see a group of another group of Passimian behind them. At that point, we didn't quite know who it was. We can assume, but we didn't quite know who it was. They pass the fruit forward and it misses. It goes right over the other Passimian's heads and hits Ash square in the face knocking him over, which results in Rowlet falling out of his backpack. As the Passimian jump over Ash, they mistake Rowlet for the fruit, pick up Rowlet, and start to run off. But Ash stops them after being introduced to Passimian by Jenny and by Rotom uh, of what Passimian in that is Ash is like, wait, that's not your fruit, that's my Rowlet. Here's your fruit, they exchange, all's good. After exchanging, they realize um, that there's a big group of Passimian right behind Ash. They've slid in, and this is the group with the red accent. So we can assume that these are the red buns that we saw at the beginning of the episode, and they look extremely menacing. That's where the title runs. As we said, this episode was titled Ash and Passimian, A Touchdown of Friendship. Now, as the episode begins, the bigger Passimian line up as if they're about to play football against Ash and they start going at each other. But the Passimian don't even notice Ash and knock him out of the way. And as the green Passimian, still holding onto the fruit, is trying to navigate through, he gets knocked out, gets knocked back, and loses, the, loses control of the ball and it rolls over, uh, eventually finding its way into Ash's hands. Now, Ash doesn't know exactly what this fruit signifies, so when one of the red buns walks up and asks him for it, Ash just hands it to him. The red bun snatches it out of his hand and celebrates along with the other red buns, and then they walk away. Ash walks over to the Passimian that had gotten knocked out and was introduced that he is called Tiny. He's the leader of what we later find out are called the Melee Melee Greens, and that's why we're wearing our greens. I know it says Celtics. For now, we're gonna pretend it says Melee Melee Greens because we're on the Melee Melee Greens. Jenny asks Ash to help carry Tiny to the Pokemon Center. At the Pokemon Center, the other Passimian and Ash are watching while Tiny is being tended to. And that's when Jenny comes up and says, these are the Melee Melee Greens. She's talking with Nurse Joy, trying to figure out what happened. And says that the red buns are from Akala, Akala Island and led by the Claw. His name is Claw. He's the one that took the fruit from Ash. And Joy says, oh, are those, aren't those the ones that are known for their violence? Yes, they are. Ash wishes that the leader gets well and it goes on to the next day at school. That next day, Ash is explaining what happened the previous day, saying that he had gotten surprised by these Passimia and they almost took Rowlet, and he's playing catch with Rowlet, with Lana, throwing Rowlet back and forth. 
And Kiawe says, oh, the red buns, I know them. They terrorized the, the, the farm that he works at uh, at one point. Kukui comes in and explains that whoever possesses this fruit becomes the leader of the group. And that's when Ash really starts to get worried about how Tiny's doing. And he starts to feel bad for what happened the day before. After school, Ash and Jenny go to try and find the Mele Mele Greens, the Passimian that we saw before. And they come across a large village with a whole lot of Passimian, a whole lot more than we saw. And Ash notices the three from yesterday and walks up to them. They're all healthy now, so Tiny's good to go. Uh, but they're, they seem really discouraged. Obviously, they just lost their fruit, so they're no, they're no longer in charge. The red buns walk up, and they're jerks. They have people fanning them with leaves, and they're bringing fruit up to them, and they're just the typical jerk leaders. Back at the school the following day, Ash is acting like a Passimian, and Kukui eventually explains it's because he wants to help out the Passimian. He wants to be able to talk to them, so he acts like a Passimian the whole time. And Lily has this great idea of, hey, let's let's make Ash a suit. And they make him a suit that looks extremely like a Passimian. It was really good work. Good job, Lily. Good job, Lana. Good job, Mallow. They did a good job of it. Ash and his friends travel out to the village where the Passimian are, and Ash offers a fruit to one of the villagers. And he wants to try and help them out. So he offers the fruit, but none of them come up to take it. One of the smaller villagers comes up and checks Ash out and eventually takes the fruit and they start playing catch. At first, Ash and all of the friends were really confused. They're like, is he not gonna eat it? Like, is this not gonna work? But when they start playing catch, you can see that this is exactly what was supposed to happen. And all of the other villagers start to come up and play catch as well. You can see them all playing in a nice little scene. But the Mele Mele Greens are the last ones to join. They're, they're, they're sitting, they're really upset. But eventually they wind up catching one of the balls and participating. They even show off some of their teamwork, having one of them spring the other up into the air to catch a ball that Ash accidentally threw too far. After some fun, the red, the red buns do show up and do their typical jerk thing where they put the fruit down and they, they, get to, they call the people over to get their fans going and get their fruit. But the greens challenge them to a football game to take ownership of the fruit. The red buns don't really seem like an evil team per se. They just seem like the typical bad gang. The, we're, we're stronger than you, so we're going to take over. That's exactly what they seem like. And Ash decides that he's going to volunteer to help. None of the other villagers wanted to help. It was just the red buns versus these four. The three that were on the Melee Melee Greens plus Ash. Now, the main event of the episode, the football game, the four against three, the Melee Melee Greens versus the red buns. We see the, the leader of the red bun throws the ball up and the game begins and the Melee Melee Greens are getting smacked up. Let's think back to 2017 Super Bowl where the Atlanta Falcons took a huge lead against the New, uh, the New England Patriots. Well, it kind of went that way. Uh, one of the red buns start, tries to get LeBron fancy on them and tosses a ball behind his back and Ash intercepts it and the tide turns. The scorecard starts to catch up. It's just like Tom Brady and the Patriots catching up and then Ash fumbles it and it reminds me of the 2018 Super Bowl and that's all that we're saying about that topic. But moving on. After taking over momentum, the momentum shifts again into the Red Bun's favor, and it looks like they might be about to win until Ash is like, I've got to do something, and comes up with a strategy and has them use the same, the same way that they were playing catch before where they launched one of the others into the air, and they intercept the ball yet again, and Tiny jumps over the Red Buns and starts to run for the, for the goal and gets blocked by all three, and he can't pass because... All three of the red buns are blocking the other three he could pass to. And that's when the other villagers come up. They're like, we'll, we'll participate now. We'll participate now. And after many, many passes, Tiny runs in and wins the game for the, green, the Melee Melee Greens. At that point, he tosses the ball to Ash. And Ash is the new leader and gets carried away by them. And while Ash is getting carried away, he makes a reference to Team Rocket saying, what even is this feeling? You remember every time Beware picks up Team Rocket, that's what they always have to say. But apparently, he's gonna be the new leader for quite a while. 
that was the end of the episode and that was my review for it again there wasn't really there wasn't too much story related that went on just yet i think it planted the seed for tiny to eventually maybe help out ash at the same time ash has never nicknamed one of his pokemon so maybe he's not going to i don't know let me know what you think down below um now we did have a preview for the next week in next week's episode we're gonna meet alima again i think we've seen alima before um but we they're talking about genders and from the preview i couldn't tell who was talking so i couldn't tell if they were talking about genders of alima or genders of team skulls salandit uh salandit um so it's gonna be an interesting episode and then we see that Alima is using Eevee's Z move, which means we get to see all of the Eevee Lucians in the next episode. Again, if you checked out episode 64, let me know what your favorite part was in the comments down below, and we'll see you for the next anime review. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.